My name's Bernard, I'm from O'Connor Nurseries in Gorey County, Wexford. And today I'm going to show you how I would make up a hanging basket for the summer. The first thing to remember is the basket is the size of your water container. Some contain a plastic bag like this one, so you have to make sure at some point you have an irrigation point so that you don't end up with uh, the basket full of, full of water. So when we finish this, you just simply make a couple of slits into the basket to allow any excess water to drain out. The, I'm going to put the compost into the basket and into the bottom of the basket I drive the compost down very hard. The idea of that is that I'm making up uh, a water reservoir. I'm driving the air out sometimes um, just simply because I want to make a water reservoir. Then around the edge, you put your compost around the edge, pressing it very gently around the edge so that again, you've got air pockets in the plastic. So you want to just push the air pockets out without pushing the air out of your compost. So you go around like that. Now, you need to leave room for your plants. We're going to put big plants in, so you need to room, leave room for your plants like that. Um, I'm going to put six plants into this basket. It's a 12 inch basket, but five would probably be sufficient. And even if I went to a 14 or a 16 inch basket, I would still only put six plants in. I'm going to put two saffinias in it, two trailing saffinias. Um, this one is a purple. That'll go across the side. Like that. They tend to lean a bit one way. So I project the side of the, the plant over the edge of the basket so that it'll help it trail over the edge. And opposite that, I'm going to put another saffinia, and this one's hot pink. So it gives it a slightly different shade um, for um, color, color variation. And again, I'm angling it out very slightly um, to help it to project over the side of the basket. Um, I like something yellow in the basket. I think it lifts the basket. A lot of people don't. But I'm going to put a yellow biddens into the basket. They're a lot more controllable than they used to be. And um, they actually make quite a nice lift to the basket. I'll put that in there like that. And again, that'll project over the side of the basket. Um, I'm going to put a type of biddens into the basket. This is a newish one. Um, it has a lovely orange and yellow flower. Um, and this particular one is very attractive to pollinating insects. So I'm going to put that one over there like that. Into there. Nice orange flower. Um, I'm going to put a verbena in nice red verbena to lift the colour. I'm going to put that in this side over here. I'm not going to tease the roots out in any way shape or form. Um, these are quite rapid growing plants so they don't need that. Um, should you be planting something like a shrub or herbaceous plant then to tease the roots out to encourage rooting out is fine. But these are so rapid growing um, that there won't be any need to do that. Um, I'm going to put a Calabracoa in. Um, we have a nice Can uh, Can Rosy Magenta here. And I'm going to put that into there. When you filled your basket, you should had, um, try and end up with um, not too much of a dome of compost on the basket so that when you water it eventually um, it uh, um, the water won't run out over the side of the basket. Give it a tap. I'm not putting anything in the middle of the basket. It will naturally fill and most baskets are hung up in the air like that so you can't actually see the centre um, and it will naturally fill in. If you want to put something into the centre of the basket um, then by all means do so. Uh, geranium, non-stop begonia or anything like that. Uh, that's it, thank you.